my next installment of Stash Status. This is uh, going to be kind of an ongoing series over the next, I don't even know how long. Um, it was prompted originally by my Palette Palooza, which is a five-part series. If you happen to have missed that, I will link it below. Um, but then I did one on my foundations, and probably the next most requested uh, item was my powder foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. I was going to do powder foundations and powders, but I think that might be too long of a video, so we'll just go with powder foundation. Okay, so first off, I have the, and I just have these in my little, what I have them in my, they're just in front of me here. Uh, this is the Laura Geller Balance in Brighton. This has popped in and out of my favorites several times. It looks like this from the front, and this is in the shade Regular. And this can be a little bit dark for me. I have to be careful. If I apply this with a kabuki brush, then it really, you know, lays on the product. But if I use something more fluffy like the It Cosmetics powder brush or, you know, any sort of a fluffier brush, then it works a little bit, you know, it, it applies a little bit lighter. So I like that. It gives a little bit of versatility. Really like the, sh the finish of this. I was going to say shine. It's not shine, but it does, it really just brightens up your face. So I do really like that. And actually, I have two of these. Somewhere along the line, somebody gifted me one in the pretty gold packaging, but it is the same thing. But it does give me the opportunity here to show you how they are swirled and that each one looks a little bit different. So they are a baked, a baked product. And I understand them to be liquid when they go in and they're on like a terracotta plate, I think. And then I, I'll stop talking about things I don't know about. But I understand that to be true. Ah, okay. Um, one that is newer to my collection, and I've played with just a little bit, so I can't completely, um, you know, give you a review on it. But this is the Pure Minerals 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15. So it looks like this. It's in a very nice, substantial um, case, compact. So, like, this is kind of that, you know, like, acrylic lucite sort of thing. So it looks like that. Has very nice. I'm not sure if swatching is going to be any any sort of helpful at all. Probably not. But so I can't. I will report back on this. I just like I said, it was actually sent to me by Pure Minerals, which was unexpected and very nice. All right, one other drugstore one that I have, and I love. I used, I think I found this when I did drugstore December back in December 2012. I think that's when I discovered this, and this is my second one since then. Oops as I'm throwing things around. This is the Milani Multitasker in medium. It has really nice, you can see there's some good coverage there. You can use this wet or dry. I generally don't use powder foundations wet at all. I use them over top of my foundation. So I really, really like that. It's, it's a nice powder, gives a good, a, a good finish as well. Okay, I, these are really in no order. Just, just, you know, I'm just going front to back. <laughs> Uh, I have a little trial size of this and then a full backup. I've talked about this over and over and over again. This is the Laura Mercier Loose Minerals. This is, it's still I feel like this is my favorite powder. I have really been enjoying, and I just showed this in my favorites, so I'll talk about this as well, the pressed version of it. And this is, you know, newer, uh, newer out and newer to my collection. I do feel like it gives this, it gives pretty much the same finish as the Loose Minerals then it's not as messy, but you know, if I'm picking something over all of these that I'm using from now until the end of time, currently I think that would still be my Laura Mercier Loose Minerals. So uh, this is the, the little baby size, and again, my my shade is in natural beige. I'm not sure if I mentioned that below, or if I mentioned that before or not. Okay, this one I think I got, I want to say January, so I've used this quite a bit throughout the year. And this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder Foundation. No, Stay in Place Powder Makeup. Mine is in 2C1 Pure Beige. And I really like this when I am trying to make my makeup last for hours and hours and hours on end. This, I don't feel like it dries on my skin in any way. But I don't really have that issue with the Double Wear either. Like the, the um, liquid foundation. But it really... It sets it, it doesn't make it look, it's kind of like that whole NYX thing, although I've not tried that, the, it's matte but not flat. I get, I feel the same way about this as that description is. Hopefully that makes sense. But I, I like this, I highly recommend this as well if you are looking for some serious longevity out of your makeup. Okay, one that I've had for a couple of years now is the Burberry Sheer Foundation in Trench 01. I feel like I just talked about this recently. Just, 
a really nice smooth again I'm not sure why I'm why I'm I want, not sure why I'm swatching, but I want you to see how nicely that, hopefully that showed you something, but it just works so nicely into the skin. It really is, um, it's a sheer coverage. It adds a little bit more. And I should probably mention, I don't generally use a powder foundation just on my face, nothing else, like primer and then powder foundation. I use it over top of another foundation to add longevity to add um, a little more coverage, to add a little more luminosity. Like there are, there are a multitude of reasons why I would use a powder foundation on top of a regular foundation. On occasion, I will use uh, just one of these with a kabuki brush all over my face and call it a day. But that is a rarity. That would be something really quick and run into the store on a Saturday morning or something like that. So, but anyway, this, this is a very, very nice powder. I, I think I don't use it as much because I don't want to use it up. I need to eat. The next one that I have is by Camp Cosmetics and it's the Take 2 R1. So it's in a, in, a, in a compact like this. It has a little sponge in it like most of them do. It has a mirror. And then this is the powder. This has some really nice pigmentation. It, it really um, just kind of evens out your whole, your whole skin tone. Probably of all of the foundation, of all of them that I have, the one that I would wear just on its own without any foundation underneath would be this one with a with a kabuki brush. So very, again, very pigmented, really blends into the skin well. You don't see it. I'll try to show you here. You don't see it sitting on the skin. Which one did I swatch in the middle there that looks particularly orange? <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, this this is also a very nice product. And again, I think I said I said I'm in R1. And then the last two that I have are from It Cosmetics. And when I do my kind of brand breakdown for It Cosmetics, which I will do, I will talk a little bit more about the two of these. But I have the Celebration Foundation in Light Medium and the Celebration Foundation Illumination in Light. And they don't look a ton different. I, I can't tell you how long I used this um, illumination one before I, I had put it down. You're not you're not going to be able to see that, but they are both very very nice. Again, I have done I did like a a review way back when a couple years ago on this one, trying to use it just as the foundation as it was intended, and I don't like that. I stand by that. I still don't like it just as a foundation, but over the top of my foundations, like I've talked about. Oh, a million times in this video. Uh, I really like how it how it sets and I like it more in the winter, or excuse me, in the summer than I do in the winter. And then the illumination, the foundation illumination, I think I got this one, I don't know, but I've had it for a long time. Um, well over six months. I, I believe I, bu I bought this about this time last year, actually. I think I've had it for a year. Uh, really like that one as well. That one adds just a little bit more of a glow to your face and is not drying in any way, shape, or form. So like these definitely in the summer and definitely in the winter. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that look into my stash status of my powder foundations. Why I picked these names that are so tricky to say, I don't even know. It took me like four times to spit that out. Anyway, <laughs> on my eyes today, I have the NARS Duo in Dolomites, I believe is how you say it. This is a gift from Lisa SEO9. And I took a little bit of a matte brown beneath my lower lash line, but that the rest is just, that's what's on my eyes. And on my cheeks today, I have the Nude, where now I just found it and lost it, Nude Wear Rose Blush from Physicians Formula. I just showed this and uh, got it in my Lure Beauty box. This is really pretty. I really like it. And the packaging is super cute. Bulky, but cute. And then on my lips, I have the Bite Beauty Pencil in Sable looks like that and then over the top of it I have Buxom's um, in Dolly I don't remember exactly what this is called Buxom lips in Dolly one of my favorites so thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this and if you have any questions leave them below I'll talk to you very soon bye